Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, we see what is the use of merge ends in shops command. See friends, we have merge ends. Go to more. Here we can see merge ends in shop option. Sub option. It is a sub option. You can see this only when you select tick profile. When tick profile has been selected, you can see merge ends option we see what is the use of this option in this video first i go to sketch i create one circle and i give some dia of 150 i exit i pad this sketch I go for 100 you can see 100 I go to more option here I give minus 95 so that you will get one cylindrical object with 5 mm thickness I mirror this Then I go to sketch, I take a single profile, line profile, open profile, now I apply shopped to this line, as this is open profile, select tick option in this, go to shopped. select line then select tick option select axis I select directly Z axis or if you don't have this axis system right click and select Z axis then material is added with 1 mm thickness inside revolving round Z axis I go for preview you can see like this then if you increase this thickness 2 mm 3 mm 4 mm outside it is add, adding i want to add material inside i want to add material to its inside then go for thickness 2 1 mm 2 mm 3 mm like this preview now i want to add material both sides with the equal thickness that means i need 2 mm both sides then go for neutral fiber select 2 mm then go for preview then you got a feature like this then see we have a gap between this surface uh, to the shop surface uh, shop to top surface uh, then see friends if we select uh, merge option then it is connected to the adjacent surface uh, then we get output like this This is the use of a mergence option in shop command. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.